Some Wilkinson County residents are feeling drained after going weeks without running water. Our Gloria Ruth Finney visited with them this evening in hopes of getting to the bottom of why they have been without water for so long. Gloria Ruth? Amanda, I'm told it all started a year ago after water was draining into a neighboring yard. The owner of this rental property says he was told the issue wasn't his problem. Now he says he can't get a clear answer. Meanwhile, the city has cut water service to these residents' units. All the stress that you take on there, I think hurts you more than anything in this world. Stress is something Raven Marable, a tenant living in Irvington, is all too familiar with lately. Almost two months. There's no water whatsoever. She and five other tenants living here on Asbell Street, right near the Wilkinson County Courthouse, have been without running water for nearly two months. It's hard. It's been really hard. She says some neighbors have been a big help. They would let us come and get water from them during the day with jugs, gallon jugs and everything. So that way we could keep up with the water till the animals wouldn't go without. And for some living here, like her father, she says it isn't feasible for them to just up and move somewhere else. I decided today enough is enough. They're scared to talk, so I'm going to talk for them. Marie Dial's brother also lives here. Bathrooms, flushing your toilet. How can you cook, you know, if you don't have no water? You know, animals shouldn't live like that, much less people. The septic tank was put in, not by professionals, and they can't have the sewer backing up on the street. We called the property owner of 101 Asbel, Hamel Uden, but it wasn't until after visiting these rental units that I heard back. He says environmental services tell him he may need an engineer site survey, which he says could cost around $10,000 for that and other testing. He says he thought the property was grandfathered in so as not to require such a survey. However, he says he still hasn't gotten a straight answer Meanwhile, he says the city still hasn't turned the water back on while those questions get sorted out. The owner did send me a copy of an email correspondence with the Environmental Health County Manager from October 18th, indicating they still aren't sure if he may need an engineered site plan or not. Per his email this morning, asking for an update, he still hasn't heard back from the county. And these residents still are without running water. Somebody's got to help these people. After business hours when I was able to speak with the property owner, but I'll certainly be following up with the environmental health services as well as the city to find out what is needed to get the water back on for these tenants. Reporting live in the studio, Gloria Reefe, WGXC News.